What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys another video about the Pixel 2 XL. And yes, it's another video about the display, but this time it's some good news about the display. Um, a lot of people have been upset a little bit about the fact that you can't get saturated colors on the Pixel 2 XL, not as saturated as you would on a Note 8 or even the LG V30. I talked about it. It's not really a problem in the sense that you obviously have more accurate colors on the Pixel 2 XL, but some people want extra saturation. So I showed that off in one of my videos, the issue. There's also issues with the blue light shifts and burn in, a lot of stuff, which Google actually issued a statement on today. They're gonna give people an extra year, two years of warranty. They're also going to uh, change some things with the way this far works, uh, make it auto hide to get rid of some of the burn in issues. And then they're gonna push an update to actually allow you to get more saturated colors. Well, of course, because it's Android, a third party developer already came out with an app that allows you to do this. Yesterday, the app Oreo Colorizer was dropped right there by Short Fuse is a developer. This is on APK Mirror. I'll drop the link below if you guys wanna check it out. What this lets you do is go ahead and get the saturated colors on your Pixel 2 XL right now. Uh, obviously, Google's gonna drop the update, but they're testing it right now. That's what they said in their official blog post. Again, I'll link that below if you wanna read it. That's gonna take a little while to push out. Hopefully, it'll be quick. But if you wanna see what it'll look like now to have more saturated colors on your Pixel 2 XL, go ahead and download the APK. You're gonna to have to enable unknown sources to install it. When you open it, it's really easy to use the app. You either start or stop the process at the bottom. You've got two options. You can either use optimized rendering, which is actually the on by default when you install version 1.1 of the app, which actually only sort of optimizes this using an overlay uh, on an app per app basis, only when it's needed. Um, but if you turn that on, you can see it colorizes on demand, which basically means on an app per app basis. Uh, if you want to have every single frame be colored, you can turn that off and then it'll use the aggressive colorization where it's doing that on every single frame. It actually looks a little smoother, but it also degrades your performance and your battery life. And sometimes you see some drop frames. So it's really up to you. I tested both. I would probably recommend turning this on, but for the purpose of the demo, I'm gonna leave it on aggressive mode so you guys can see the difference. So right now it's off. So look at the rainbow right there and just take a look at the difference when I hit start as I zoom in here. Look at the colors pop, turn it off and on, off, and on, off, and on. You can actually see this even better if you open up another app that has really bright colors and put it in multi-window mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna open up the app Backdrops. You guys can see right here, I have a very brightly colored wallpaper. And I'm just gonna zoom in and then go ahead and press it. Right now it's off, you can see the colors more muted. Turn it on, look at how those colors pop. Off, and on. And so you guys get the idea. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be an app that's not for everybody um, because of the fact that it does drain some battery. Uh, even when you use the more conservative method, it does drain a little battery and impact your performance. You don't wanna play any games with this on there. But if you're tired of seeing those really muted out colors, if you don't like the accurate colors, so to speak, you can download this app and give it a try before Google even pushes the update, which hopefully will come very, very soon. All right, guys, so that's just a quick look at Oreo Colorize. Again, the APK is not on the Play Store. You're actually gonna have to go and download that from APK Mirror, which I'll drop the link below. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, the links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification icon as well so I can make future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.